We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. It's game three of the National League Division Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Atlanta Braves. Now in the box, Mookie Betts. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Two and one now to Mookie. Fouled away. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today, but 59 at game time tonight. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. And therefore, it is Marquecas, and that's your first out. Here's Corey Seager. His history with Josh Tomlin, he's one for three. The 1-1 home. Tomlin is sort of a curious case as a starter. Usually doesn't walk many guys, but at times he ends up giving up his share of hits. The translation on that is that he throws it high and deep to right center. Looking up Acuna, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Stepping in now, Max Muncy. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ozuna is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Next for the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Fouled off. The one, two. Fouled away. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count. And he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Full count to Bellinger. Three balls, two strikes. Bellinger connects as this is deep to right. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money. And there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason. And he did right there. Standing in now, A.J. Pollock. And he fouls this one off. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, look at the stop by Freddie. In time. Acuna digs in now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Hey, that two-seam fastball is going to be the be-all, end-all of this game right here. Who's going to execute? Is the pitcher going to be able to keep going to that well? Or is the offense going to be able to make an adjustment and hit that ball in the gap? So he got him swinging. Ronald Acuna sent packing to start out the bottom of the first. Hit high in the air down the right field line. On the move is Betts. He gets there, and that's the second out.
So next up will be Freddie Freeman. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. The 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Betts has a read on it. And the inning is over. Digging in now, Jock Peterson. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Count remains full. The 3-2 one more time. Slow roller down the third baseline. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. Pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. So the base is empty here with one away. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. Hit the other way out toward right field. Marcakis has a read on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Next up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. Two out, nobody on. Squared that one up just a little late. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two. Ball. Two balls, two strikes. And it's fouled away. Little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Number nine. Smith, runner at first with two gone. hit hard to the right side and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him stepping up now Mookie Betts flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far almost Maddie almost went deep his last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big power he's feeling pretty good at the dish look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB now the 2-1 is laid off of for ball number three. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Long throw to the plate, and they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Into the box, Corey Seager hit hard on the ground at first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Marcelo Zuna. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. One and two now. And the pitch. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Fouled off.
swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Here's Ender and Ciarte. One out, nobody on. Breaking ball stays high and misses for a ball. Swing and a liner. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in, the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Hit back up the middle. And Markakis has got himself a base hit. So now to the plate, Travis Darno. Travis Darno with an even two and two count now. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Max Muncy. Now the 2 1. Left center, base hit. In now, Cody Bellinger. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Next will be the designated hitter, A.J. Pollard. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Stepping up to the plate, Jock Peterson. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. 1-1 one, one is a cutter that misses 2-1. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Two two. Swung on and missed that strike two. Still two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Left center, base hit. The third baseman, number three, Chris Taylor. Into the box now, Chris Taylor. Swung on and missed, one, one and two now. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the third. Turned on down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now that will to the plate now, Will Smith. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Luke Jackson is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Gavin Lux will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. The 1-1 one -one home. It is strike two swinging. Two out, bases loaded. Lifted the other way to left center. Acuna is there for it. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch. So just the one run scores here in the frame.
The next to bat for Atlanta, Austin Riley. And they've got some work to do early on, down 4 nothing already. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Cutter, and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball is in there, and that's out number one. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Lux ranging into the outfield. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now, now at the plate, fielder. Ronald Acuna. Ronald. He looked to bounce Acuna. back after striking Acuna. out his last time up. The 2-1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Bellinger's in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. The 2-1 home. Taken, strike two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Fouled away. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3-2 and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Mookie Betts becomes the first out of the inning. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. The one-two. Four runs, six hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Full count now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. A bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. So coming to the plate, Max Muncy. He's one for two in this one. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Two and one. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Swing, strike two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ozuna giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. Ah. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Nope. Can't oh. find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Nobody out, runner on first. Freeman. 
On the ground is short. This could be two. One there. Over to Muncie, and they double him up. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Marcelo Zuna. Two and one. Two and one is the count. Three balls and a strike to the Braves left fielder. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he fouls this one off. He'll try it again, three and two. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Darren O'Day, six-foot-four-inch right-hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 53. New inning set to get underway, and digging in is the veteran D.H. A.J. Pollock. Ground ball right into the shift. He's got it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Fouled off. is swung on and missed so it's two up two down to start the fifth the third base digging in once again Chris Taylor it was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate well he got a good pitch to hit last time up looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB maybe once a game maybe once a week. and the right fielder is there to make the catch and the inning is over Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring up Ender Inciarte. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Ender Inciarte is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And Marquegas lays off here. It's two and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Good eye to lay off the knuckle curve that time, and he makes it a full count. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Now batting. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. No runs, just one hit and one error on the Atlanta line score. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bellinger's under it. 
He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The throw is wild, and it gets away. Into the box, Austin Riley. He got called out on strikes his last time through. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Stepping into the box, Will Smith. He'll start things out for the Dodgers in their half of inning number six. Ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're gonna go out there and throw that same pitch till he proves he can lay off of it. Here now the two-two. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. So striding forward now, Gavin Lux, 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order. Mm. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine-hole in now getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The 1-1. One, one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Fouled away. Two and two count. Here it comes. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Standing in, Corey Seager. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready on one and two. Hit hard, but foul. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Stepping in for the Braves, Ozzy Albies. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 3 2 pitch. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And a back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup, stepping in, Ronald Acuna. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. On a line, that's a base hit. Late now, Dansby Swanson. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Ball and two strikes now. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. 
And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Fastball misses upstairs as that moves things to three and one now. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score. At the plate, Ender Inciarte to two balls and two strikes now. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. And Lux is under it to make the catch and retire the side. A.J. Minter is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 33, A.J. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. A hit and two tries for him so far. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. That's the ball. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Here comes the payoff pitch. Seared down the first baseline. Freeman's got it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He flew out in his last at bat. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Now to the plate is the Dodgers designated hitter, AJ Pollock. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Changeup pulled a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Dylan Floro gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Nick Markakis. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality AB and get this line going. There to look it in his bats, and that's out number one. Into the box now, now. Travis Darno. Now the one and one pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Calling for it is Betts, and Mookie's got it for the second out. So striding in, Austin Riley. No hits to this point. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Ozzie Albies would be next. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Chris Martin has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 55. 
Ready for another chance. Jock Peterson. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. Three and one to the Dodgers left fielder. Well, that's ball three. The Dodgers right now would love to start this inning off with a walk anyway to get this leadoff guy on. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now batting. The third so a runner at first now with nobody out. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Once again, a 3-2. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Marquez has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Standing in, Will Smith. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. I think it's a real possibility that they put that runner in first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Line hard, but this is a foul ball. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another payoff pitch. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this now one. Number nine. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Fouls this one off. And another foul ball. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Fielded cleanly. Throw won't get him. Standing in now, Mookie Betts. A swing and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Two away for the Dodgers here in the eighth. And striding to the plate will be Corey Seeger. From the stretch, the one two. fouled away a one two pitch into the gap in left center this is down and it'll head for the wall one run scores it's cut off so all three runners are in to score Stepping in now, Max Muncy. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. From the belt, the pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Jake McGee is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 41. 
Jake. Leading off the inning, Ozzy Albies, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Chopped up the line to first. Here's the one and two delivery. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He's working on a one for three thus far. The set and the one-one pitch. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Hit in the air out to center field. Bellinger is right there, one down. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that brings in Freddie Freeman. First and second now, one man out. Line to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. So now to the plate, Marcelo Zuna. Strike two taken, the fastball that clips the inside black. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Ender Inciarte will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Two and two the count. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 2 2 one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Nick Markakis would be next. to third. Taylor has it. Throw to first is going to be in time and the Braves rally comes up short as that's out number three. Shane Green enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 19. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. So digging in now, A.J. Pollard looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. 
Swing and a miss as he goes back to the cutter here. Three and two. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jock Peterson. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. First and second here with nobody out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home. And that misses. Ball four. And he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. Perfect. Now batting, Chris Taylor. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another flyout wouldn't be all that bad. If he can deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Not could have been 3 and 1. Instead, it's 2 and 2. And a swing and a miss on a huge first out there as he sets him down swinging with the bases loaded. And a strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded, and there are two away now. Bases are loaded here, two down. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. This is lined into the gap in left center, and he's going to come through here with extra bases. One run is scored. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, and he's safe. Grant Dayton comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Into the box, Mookie Betts pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. He enters this at bat, one for two with a walk. Hit in the air out to left field. Peterson has a read on it. One down. Now At the plate, Travis Darno. It was a flyout for him in his last Darno. trip. Bases are empty, one man out. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. Now the one and two pitch. Push softly over toward the right side. On the first, and that means the Braves are now down to their final out. Digging in, Austin Riley. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1-1 one and one pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Popped up, and the first baseman can't get there. Final strike for the Braves. Fouled off. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Ready with another two-strike offering. Grounded up the first baseline. Scooped up. And the Dodgers are going to advance. They're through to the National League Championship Series.
well, my advice to them is to enjoy this moment, celebrate with teammates, and then realize that none of it will matter if they don't get back to work in the NLCS. They've wet their beaks with this postseason success. Now they want some more. Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. Multi-hit game, and one of them was a dinger. That's a solid day's work for any hitter, and it had an impact on the outcome of this game. What else can you say? For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our hardworking crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been the National League Division Series. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, 10 runs on 9 hits. Two errors, they left 9 runners on base. For Atlanta, one run, four hits, one error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours.